If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. After initially creating a slideshow, you can click the Media, Themes, or Audio buttons in the toolbar at the left side of the slideshow to expand or collapse the related pane for each and edit the slideshow. To edit the media in the slideshow, simply click the Media button in this toolbar to expand the media pane. The photos and text slides within a slideshow then appear as slides within this pane. You can click the slides to select them. To select multiple non-adjacent slides, click the first slide to select, hold down the control key on your keyboard, and then click the other slides to select. To instead select multiple adjacent slides, click the first slide to select, hold down the shift key on your keyboard, and then click the last slide to select those slides and all slides between them. To change the order of slides in the slideshow, select the slides to move and then click and drag the selected slides. Release them when they are between the desired slides. To add media from the Elements Organizer to the existing slideshow, click the Add Photos and Videos button in the upper right corner of this pane. Then select the Add Photos and Videos from Organizer command in the drop-down menu that appears to open an Add Media dialog box. In the Basic section at the left side of this dialog box, you can select either the Option button for All Media, or Media from the Grid to choose which organizer media to display at the right side of the dialog box. For Advanced Media Display options, click the Advanced section at the left side of the dialog box to expand the choices below it. You can then select an option button and choose a specific choice from the adjacent drop-down for each filtering category shown to only display media that matches your selection in the pane at the right side of the dialog box. The filtering categories are Album, Keyword Tag, People, Places, and Events. For both the basic and advanced selections, you can also check the Show Media with Star Ratings and or the Show Hidden Media checkboxes at the bottom of the left pane to only display star rated media and or display hidden media in the right pane. After deciding what media to display in the right pane, then click the media in the right pane to select it. To add multiple non-adjacent media, click the first media to select it, hold down the control key on your keyboard, and then click the other media items to select. To select multiple adjacent media, simply click the first media item to select, Hold down the shift key on your keyboard, and then click the last media item to select those items and all items between them. Note that you can also click the Select All and Deselect All buttons at the bottom of the right pane to select all the media items or deselect all the media items. After selecting the media items to add, click the Add Selected Media button at the bottom of the dialog box to add the media to the slideshow. Then click the Done button when finished. Alternatively, note that you can click the Cancel button to close the dialog box without adding any media. To add media from files or folders that are not within the organizer to the existing slideshow, click the Add Photos and Videos button in the upper right corner of the media pane. Then select the Add Photos and Videos from Folders command in the drop-down menu that appears to open a Choose Your Photo and Video Files dialog box. Then use this dialog box to navigate to the folder that contains the media items to import, Click the items to select them, and then click the Open button in the lower right corner of the dialog box to add the selected media items to the slideshow. Note that you cannot undo actions that you have taken when working with slideshows in Photoshop Elements. Therefore, use extra care when adding and removing slides. To remove slides from the slideshow, select the Slide or Slides to remove. Then right-click a selected slide and choose the Remove command from the pop-up menu. Alternatively, simply press the Delete or Del key on your keyboard to remove the selected slides. To add captions to the slides, check the Add Captions checkbox in the upper right corner of the media pane. If captions are enabled, you can then click into the Add Caption field beneath any slide and then type the slide's caption. Then click away from the caption or press the Enter key on your keyboard to set the slide caption. You can click into an existing caption to edit it if needed. To toggle the display of captions on and off, 
check or uncheck the Add Captions checkbox in the upper right corner of the media pane. To add a text slide to the slideshow, click the Add Text Slide button in the upper right corner of the media pane. The text slide is then added to the slide shown. Click the left pointing and right pointing arrows at the side of the slide's picture to change the slide picture that appears. To set the slide's title, click into the title field and type the slide's title. To enter a subtitle, type it into the subtitle field. Then click the Add button to add the text slide or click the Cancel button to cancel adding it. To edit an existing text slide, double click it or right click it and then select the Edit command in the pop-up menu that appears. Then change whatever settings you want and click the Save button to save them or the Cancel button to cancel the changes. To apply a different theme to the slideshow, click the Themes button in the toolbar at the left side of the slideshow window to show and hide the themes in a scrollable pane. Scroll through the list of themes and then click the theme within the pane you want to apply to select it. Then click the Apply button at the bottom of the pane to apply it. To change the audio that plays during the slideshow, Click the Audio button in the toolbar at the left side of the slideshow window to show and hide the available audio files from the organizer within the audio pane. The audio list in this pane shows the available audio files and the selected tracks list shows the tracks selected for the slideshow. To preview a track in either list, click its play button which then turns into a pause button. Then click its pause button to stop the preview. To add an audio track from the audio list to the selected tracks list so that it plays during the slideshow, hover your mouse over the track to add within the audio list. Then click the plus sign that appears at the right end of the file to add it to the selected tracks list. To remove a track from the selected tracks list, hover your mouse pointer over the audio file in the list and then click the minus sign button at the right end of the file to remove it. To remove all audio from a slideshow, remove all the tracks from this list. To reorder the audio files in the selected tracks list, simply click and drag them up or down within the list and then release them when they are in the desired place. To import a new audio file, click the Add Audio button in the upper right corner of the audio list to open a Select Media dialog box, which you can then use to browse for and select an audio file to import. After selecting the file, simply click the Open button in the Import Audio dialog box to import the selected file. To preview the slideshow, simply make a change within the Media or Audio pane, and then click the Media or Audio button in the toolbar again to close the pane and trigger an automatic preview. Changing the theme within the Themes panel also triggers an automatic preview. You can also manually use the play and pause buttons in the bottom toolbar of this window to preview it as shown in the previous lesson. To save editing changes to a slideshow already saved before, simply click the Save button in the toolbar at the top of the window. To return to the Organizer window, click the Back button in the toolbar at the top of the window. If you have unsaved changes, a message box then appears to prompt you to save the changes. You can click the Save to Organizer button in this message box to save the changes, or click the No button to cancel saving the changes. Clicking the X in the upper right corner of the message box simply cancels it. To save a copy of the slideshow with a different name, you must use the same Elements Organizer dialog box you used to save it the first time. However, to open this dialog box after saving the slideshow for the first time, you must click the drop-down arrow that appears to the right of the Save button in the toolbar at the top of the window, and then select the Save As command from the drop-down menu. You can then enter a name for the slideshow into the Name field within the Elements Organizer dialog box that appears, and then click the Save button to save the copy. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.